What's up everyone, Super Tom here and today we have a quick video predicting how much Primo Gems will be getting in patch 2.4. I know that this will be very important for you free to play players because of how insane the 2.4 patches are going to be. Now disclaimer guys, the numbers in this video are only prediction and it's not official but we'll do our best to be as accurate as possible. I'll be listing all the sources that we'll be getting our Primos from and in the end adding up to a total amount that we will have. So with that, let us jump into the video. First off, we have our daily commission as always. A patch goes for approximately 40 days and each day we get 60 primos. So we get 2,400 gems from daily commission. Next, we got Spiral Abyss. There will be two Abyss reset every patch and each gives you 600. So that will be 1,200 gems from the Abyss. In 2.4, we will have two new hangouts from Ningguang and Junjin, which each give you 60. So that's going to be 120 from new hangout events there's going to be Shen her store requests as well and we normally get 60 primos from that there will be four main character demos which is Shen he, Xiao, Gan Yu and Zhang Li's and each gift you 20 for every demo timing that by four and we get 80 primos from character demos maintenance we usually get 600 in the version 2.4 update and the other day you also get a 300 gems from live stream code as well together that will be 900 gems from from maintenance and live stream codes. Every patch we also have Hojo Lab Chicken and that usually gives you 80 Primo Gems. For patch 2.4 event, we have the study of potions, 8 locals of mountains and seas and wind trace event. Normally the events in Genshin Impact give you roughly 420 Primos so let's assume that we get those amounts from each of the events so we can times that by 3 and together we have 1260 Primo Gems from these three events and then in 2.4 the sakura tree will most likely open up to level 50 and once you reach level 50 of the sakura tree you get two intertwined fates and turning that into primos you get 320 now bonus you do get four acquaint fate in the process of living up to level 50 but i won't turn that into primos because we are focusing on intertwined fate on top of that we are going to be getting a new enconomia region which is super amazing the region looks just fantastic and obviously there are going to be new chests, new quests, new waypoints and other things that can add up primo gems. Now obviously we don't know the exact total but I would just give it a hefty 1000 primos from everything in the new region. Moving on we get one of the largest events in the year which is Lantern Rite. Specifically we'll have the Fame Plume Starflower event which is the firework making event. We have the Wondrous Shadow, the traditional lantern ride puzzle event and then there will also be the great gathering treasure hunt event where you find the materials scattered from the original jade chamber there's also going to be the ocean lake defender where you get to fight osire as a boss we don't know the exact how the event is going to occur but from the look of how large the lantern ride event is going to be we can safely say we'll get around at least 1600 primos from all of the lantern ride events not to mention there will be a daily login where where you get 10 intertwined fate over the course of the seven days turning that into primos and you get another 1600 so it's safe to say there will be at least two pool which is 3200 gems from the lantern rides event additionally there's also one really you know stupid way for you to get one more free wish which is that you will be getting a free four star character and let's say you've already got oc6 character at this point you can just choose randomly one and then turn that into five star glitter which is equivalent of one intertwined fate and then since it's going to be january there will be the shop resets you get five intertwined fate which equals to 800 primos and five equate fate which i again won't convert into gems because we are focusing on intertwined fate so in summary here's everything that we'll be getting from 2.4 if my predictions are correct we get 11,400 and primo gems along with around nine equate fate 
it from the sacred tree and the shop reset so technically you'll be having like 10 acquaint fate if you get for example yunjin to level up and then you get her fate rewards so you get around 71 wishes that you can do on the event banner however there's one thing to note that if you are wanting to get shen here you do need to note that the lantern's right event is not going to be on her banner's radar it's going to be after so you're going to have to take out roughly 3200 gems from this total which is 50 wish that you can do for shen her's banner now obviously we're always hoping that mihoyo is going to drop us more free gems than this but that's roughly is going to be the total amount if you're playing freely without buying anything now if you're getting the walkins you will be getting another roughly 3600 gems which is equal to a little bit over two pools which i do usually recommend because it's just an amount of a cup of tea and so guys that's my rough estimation on how much gems you will be getting in patch 2.4 i wish you good luck on whichever characters you decide to pull however if you're still having trouble to choose which is the best character to go for in patch 2.4 then i have a video that goes very in depth into the banners of patch 2.4 and 2.5 helping you to make the best decision i am sure that will be greatly helpful to you so if you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe to my channel for more of my super genshin guide builds and tips and tricks and with that i hope you have a super day and i will catch you on the next video